Hello, we're learning about Elma Woodsy Thomas. She was an African-American artist and teacher who lived and worked in Washington, D.C. and now recognized as a major American painter of the 20th century. Um, she is perhaps best known for her participation in the Washington Color School. Uh, and Thomas, Alma Woodsy Thomas, became the first black woman to be given a solo exhibition, which means like a show of all of her work at New York's Whitney Museum of American Art. So what a great accomplishment. She is no longer alive, unfortunately, but we are gonna honor her with Black History Month of February and do a project together. So friends, it's going to get a little crazy. You're going to need some markers. If you don't have crayons, you can, or if you don't have markers, you can use crayons. First things first, no pencils, straight to the colors. Make a heart in the middle of your paper. Don't make it too big. Make it mm, a little bit smaller than your hand. You can get a good idea from Miss Decora's heart on the screen. Miss Tora is taking her time to color in. Now, oh, this is where it gets a little silly now. Let's pause for a second. In order to get messy and use your fingers with your markers, you have to ask permission from your parents first. If you don't think they would approve, just use crayons and watch Miss Decora as she does something different later. But if you do have permission to use your fingers and to draw marker on your fingers, then you could do the step that Miss Decora is doing right now. You're gonna get a little messy and that's okay, it's in our chant. We make messes, right? We make mistakes. So I'm layering marker on my one finger and pressing down. This is called print making. This is an art form, making the same print over and over again. You can do whatever colors you want. You don't have to copy Miss Decora's colors. Going all the way around the heart. Now, I made one circle with orange. I'm gonna switch my color up. And I'm gonna, again, pick a different finger because I need to wash that orange off. I'm gonna do my next finger with yellow. Miss Decora wants to do a rainbow today. Do you have to do a rainbow? Nope, you do not have to do a rainbow. So yellow is my next color. I'm going to press down on my finger after applying more marker. Now, if your parents did not approve, and if you think they would not be happy with you drawing marker on your finger, then there's another way you can make this. You can make ovals. And I'm going to do it just here in a second. So instead of this and being messy, just draw an oval. You can draw a fingerprint easy without getting messy. So again, if your parents don't think that this would be okay, be honest with Miss Decora and just draw the ovals, okay? But if your parents did approve, go for the fingers. Get a little messy with the printmaking. It will be fun. It's a change. We've been using pencils so much. We're going to do a little bit of printmaking and getting a little messy. Each way is good. So I'm going to go back and forth and I'm going to fast forward. All right, there's my green. I found some teal. I'm going, going to again choose another finger and print make my fingerprint with this teal. The marker didn't come off Miss Decora's fingers as much as she'd like, so you might have to sit and scrub with some soap if you do the print making process with your fingerprints. It's okay, we make messes, we make mistakes. Deep inside, we got what it takes. Here's my purple. I'm going all the way around and I have a black piece of paper underneath my white drawing paper. That way I don't ruin my desk. I don't draw on my desk. And here's my final piece. I hope you love it and I can't wait to see yours with inspiration and honoring Alma Woodsy Thomas. <laughs> 